This presentation is aimed at familiarizing student researchers and junior researchers with the basic concepts and the basic processes of quantitative data analysis in research. So we will focus on understanding what is quantitative data and what are the basic processes involved in quantitative data analysis in research. So let us first begin with um, an understanding of what quantitative data is. Quantitative data, as the name suggests, consists of numbers. Data that is represented by numerical values. And so quantitative data analysis, therefore, is a process of analyzing data that is in numbers or quantities. In other words, there is uh, the process of mathematics or mathematical statistical measurement and analysis and evaluation um, are part of the quantitative data analysis process. Now, there are two types of statistical analysis or quantitative data analysis. One is called the descriptive statistics and the other one is termed as inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics actually focuses on the description of data obtained from the sample of the study. On the other hand, inferential statistics um, focuses on analyzing data obtained from the sample in ways that makes it possible to make inferences or generalizations about population on the basis of findings from the sample. Um, simply put, descriptive statistics, the focus or the aim of descriptive statistics generally is on describing or understanding the data that we collect from the sample. On the other hand, inferential statistics are more sophisticated statistics that are used in order to get inferences or to get understanding related to the particular variables that we are measuring. Um, and in studying samples, we can make references or judgments or generalizations or conclusions about the population from which the samples have been collected. So, inferential statistics help, helps us in making inferences or generalization about the population on the basis of findings from the sample. Inferential statistical analysis so helps in generalizing research results to the entire population of the study. Uh, now, some common descriptive statistics include mean, which is actually average of a range of qualities or numbers or values. Average is actually the sum of quantities divided by the number of quantities. And for example, average of these numbers, this is a set of numbers, one, two, three, four, um, the average of it will be the sum of these numbers, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and then divided, dividing this number by 4, which is actually the number of quantities. And that gets at us 2.5. So this is the average. And so there are uh, research studies in which we uh, use average or mean. Then median is another a descriptive statistical concept which actually means the midpoint of a numerically ordered range of numbers or data set. 
A data set is actually a numerically ordered range of numbers. So uh, what is the median then? It is the midpoint of that range or that data set. Our data set will have numbers right in the middle of the set as median. For example, the data set in here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is actually odd in number and 4 lies in the middle of this uh, set and therefore 4 is the median of this particular set. Then we could also have even data set and so even data set will have the midpoint between two numbers in the middle of the set is median. For example, median of this set which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so these are six numbers because it is even number. We have two mid numbers which, which are 3 and 4 so we will divide, we will add, make sum of 3 and 4 and divide it by the number of these which is 2 and so we get 3.5 which is the median of this set. The common descriptive statistics also include mode. Mode actually is the most commonly or often, re often occurring number in a set of numbers or values. For example, we have this set 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 6, 3, 6. And here the number 3 is repeated uh, three times or four times actually so there is a mistake here it is the four times uh, this number has been repeated and so the mode actually is three because this is the number that is repeated four times or most frequently occurring number is three so actually there is no mistake um, then standard deviation is another descriptive statistics. What is standard deviation? Um, standard deviation actually measures variation or dispersion in a set of quantitative values in relation to its mean. So if we have a set of quantitative values and we measure the variation or dispersion um, in that measuring the standard deviation actually helps us in the measurement of variation. So how much the number varies in, in, in terms of values. Um, and we, so we have to, to actually calculate the mean of those numbers and then the variation or dispersion in relation to that mean in the uh, in the number set will be the standard deviation. Different formulas for measuring standard deviation of population and samples have been formulated. So if you are, uh, if, if you are trying to find the standard deviation of population, we have one formula. And if you want to find the standard deviation of the sample, uh, we will have another formula. And these for, for details related to standard deviation, we will discuss that in some future. Uh, related to the, actually the measurement and the formula of the standard deviation, we will discuss that in some future uh, presentation. The other common inferential statistics include t-test. A t-test basically is based on a comparison. It actually helps us in uh, finding a comparison of the averages or means of two sets of data to find the amount or significance of similarity or difference between the two groups. So if there are two groups um, in a research study and we collect data from both groups and we compare the averages or means of the two sets of data, the amount of, 
of, or significance of similarity or difference between those two sets or the scores of two sets of data uh, will be calculated through this test called the t-test. This test is actually helpful in understanding the similarity or difference of two groups on a variable. Um, for example, in educational context, if uh, we are comparing uh, male students and female students on a particular variable, for example, academic achievement in a particular subject, t-test will be an important test that we can use there to make this comparison. ANOVA or analysis of variance is another very useful infer inferential statistics um, and this process, this method of is used basically for the comparison of more than two groups of data for to find the amount or significance of similarity or difference among the groups in terms of scores on a variable. So ANOVA is a bit more uh, sophisticated uh, or, or we, we can say a bit more complex test that helps us um, in making comparisons between more than two groups. Now we move on to the final stage of this uh, presentation and we will discuss correlation and regression is the two other important inferential statistics used in quantitative um, analysis. Correlation is basically a statistical method for measuring the relationship between two variables in a research study. So what is the relationship between two variables um, in a particular study is something that help that that is actually assessed through correlation. The role of intervening variables are not entirely excluded in correlation. So remember that correlations uh, are uh, the co-occurrence between two variables does not essentially mean that there is cause and effect relationship. The two um, variables may go with each other, uh, but maybe the relationship is there because of a third or intervening variable. So, therefore, the role of intervening variables is not entirely excluded. And so cause-effect relationships are not properly established through correlational studies. Um, examples of correlational research include, for example, correlation, finding correlation between teaching methods and student learning. And similarly, change in weather and visitors' numbers in an area. So in the first one, teaching method is considered as one variable and student learning another variable and correlational statistics uh, will help in establishing a correlation between these two variables. Then regression is a more sophisticated uh, form of uh, you could say correlation which actually may which actually measures the effect of one variable on another variable. So we are still establishing relationship or link between linking two variables. But regression analysis helps us in analyzing cause and effect relationship rather than just association, <clears throat> as is expected in correlational studies. And so regression analysis is something that is stronger in terms of establishing cause-effect relationships as compared to correlation studies, which um, we can say that regression uh, analysis helps in removing the role of the intervening variables uh, more uh, in a better way as compared to correlation.